Hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. I hope you are having a good week. Um, so this has been a relatively slow week in terms of uh, delivery. So I don't have um, a ton of boxes to open today. So I thought I would do a what's new Wednesday, which I haven't done in the longest time. So um, I'm gonna open up the two boxes that arrived. Good morning, how are you? Uh, that arrived this week, uh, show you what's inside, and then I'm gonna talk about some of the new stuff. Hello, Houston, how are you? Um, some of the new stuff that's been arriving lately uh, that I, I maybe haven't had a chance to talk about too much, give you a closer look at a bunch of stuff. So um, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. So I am going to jump in with this first box here. Hello, hi, California, how exciting. My goodness, folks from everywhere today. Um, I hope things are going well in your parts of the world. We are having a nice little break from before the true summer heat kicks in here in North Carolina. We've had some lovely, lovely weather these last few days. Um, all right. So this first box is all fabric. Um, and fabric orders like this are super exciting because I ordered this stuff last summer, August maybe? Um, so it's been a good eight or nine months, so I don't actually totally remember what's in here. Hot and humid in Houston. From what I hear, I've only ever flown through Houston. I've never um, actually been there to visit, but I hear that you guys get pretty hot and humid. Um, so here we have this adorable little cat print. It's a navy fabric. This is a Dobby uh, cotton, so it's done on a Dobby loom, and it has this really nice um, texture to it, almost like it has these lines that are um, in here. You can feel it feels a little bit different. Um, this stuff is a lot of fun to work with. Works very similar to quilting cotton, similar kind of weight um, and drape to it, um, but that's what this is. So we've got these fun little cats. Uh, again, same kind of fabric, um, and this is this is in the shop. So this is just a restocked bolt of the little cats um, in the waves, and I've got this in black and red, and then I have it um, on a gray background with the black. So I've got that in a couple different colors. Um, always very popular. Oh, I've forgotten about these. Um, so this is adorable. These are these are all from Japan. Um, this is a corgi butt bread <laughs> um, print. So you've got corgis, you've got pieces of bread um, on a pink background. Um, this is a cotton sheeting, so it's uh, quilting cotton weight fabric. And then the last bolt in here is another kawaii print. Um, this is popcorn and little fluffy puppies in there. So you've got the puppies, sometimes the puppies are in the popcorn. Um, and this is again, a cotton weight, so cute. I know these are so much fun. I love, I love cute Japanese fabric. Um, so I'm always excited when I find a print that I think will work in the shop. Um, so yeah, cotton, 100% cotton, uh, cotton sheeting, quilting cotton, uh, that kind of weight. Um, and so I th just think this would be a lot of fun. I think this would be really fun as the interior of a bag or a pouch. Um, I always like putting fun prints on the insides of my bags. I like that little surprise when I open it up, um, especially the uh, the drawstring Japanese rice pouches. Uh, I like using light colored prints on the insides of pouches so that you can see better what's inside. Um, so yeah, but it's super cute. So it would be really cute on just about anything. So that's what was in that first box. Um, and then we've got one more box here. This is about half, I think, or a third of my order from Bebe Bold in Australia. Um, you may have noticed that boxes from overseas tend to get separated, um, and so I get them in bits and pieces. So I know that there are lots of folks that have been waiting on a lot of these samplers. Um, so if you don't see the sample that you've been waiting on in this box, um, don't fret. The second box is on its way um, and will arrive hopefully fairly soon. So um, this is a this is a new one. Um, this is the 
Nautilus uh, sampler, and this is their mustard gold color. Uh, I This is the Daisy print, also in that same mustard gold color. Um, in this order, uh, the samplers that I got last time, I got a lot more colors this time around. So you'll see um, an expansion of the availability of different colors of a lot of the Baby Bold samplers that I got last time. Um, this is Water Ripples is here, and these, just like the all the Olympus, the Daruma samplers, these are um, printed in wash away ink. So after you're done stitching, you can submerge it in water and all of the markings will disappear. Uh, just be sure to not iron your sampler before you do that because the iron will heat set the ink and make it much more difficult to get out later on. So um, what's cool about that is that say you just want to do the big circles. You're not really fond of the small circles, so you can just stitch the big ones, wash it, and then the markings for all the little ones will go away. So you can really customize your sampler in how you would like it to look, how you um, want to stitch that up. This is the uh, Seven Treasures panel uh, in red. Here is the Daisy in navy. So like I said, there's gonna be a lot more um, color options for these samplers. And so this box, um, I'm kind of making a mess because they put this, this is the corn-based eco-friendly um, foam stuff. If you've never played with this stuff, it's really fun to, my kids love dissolving it in water, um, but it kind of makes a huge mess. So <laughs> there's a whole bunch of this stuff in here and I'm trying to not have it make a huge mess, uh, but just showing you that there's a lot, a lot of samplers in this box. So um, this afternoon you will see a big restock of the Bebe Bold Sashiko samplers and we will wait on the second box to make its way here um, to us so that we can get more goodies from them. All right, so now let's switch over to a What's New Wednesday um, and let's talk about some of the new stuff that has come into the shop in recent weeks. First up, we have the Liberty of London Sewing Notions line. Several years ago, uh, if you've been around the Snuggly Monkey for a while, um, you know that I had a lot of Liberty of London Notions, pin cushions, that kind of stuff. And then they kind of discontinued that in the US market, couldn't get them for a while, now they're back. Um, so they have come out with a line of Sewing Notions in classic Liberty of London fabrics. We have the Sewing Roll, um, so this is a lovely little sewing supplies pouch and it comes with all of these notions. So you get a pair of silver embroidery scissors. They are attached to the roll with this little snap uh, piece of fabric so that they stay in place and don't wander away. You get um, a tape measure which has the measurement in inches and then you've got um, some needles and some safety pins. There is a zipper pocket here at the bottom uh, so that you can put other supplies in there. And it's just a nice place to keep your sewing supplies on hand and organized. So we've got the sewing rolls. We have uh, scissor cases, which uh, come with the scissors included. Uh, and that's just a snap closure in the various uh, Liberty of London prints. So we've got this Cosmo, there is um, this blue one, and then there's this Hampstead, which is like a very, very dark green uh, with the pink flowers on it. Um, for the sewing roll, we have the same uh, two fabrics as well. There are tape measures uh, in the same fabrics. They have a little fabric uh, on the tip here to cover up the end. They are retractable and they've got the measurements in both centimeters and inches on this side. I believe they are 60 inches long um, and we've got the same three prints available in that. So if you're a huge Liberty of London fan, um, you could get yourself a whole set coordinating set um, or you can mix and match or just get what you need. There's also uh, pin cushions in this series. So there are the flower pin cushions, which I have in the Cosmo and in the blue. Um, these are filled with uh, stuffing, so they're very lightweight. 
um, and they've got the super cute. They're quite um, big. I think the size is three and a half by three and a half inches and they're about an inch tall. Um, I have, and then there is the Apple pin cushions. And these are adorable. They look like little apples. There is an embroidered uh, wool leaf here with the little uh, stem on the top. And I have these in the blue, red, and this white with pink flowers. Um, I got to go to London five or six years ago now um, and got to go to Liberty of London, which if you're in London and you are a fabric lover, an architecture lover, it's a gorgeous building. Um, and the craft and fabric uh, section, which at the time was up on the third floor, I think, is just, it's beautiful, beautiful to walk through. Um, and so I ended up getting myself one of these pin cushions, but in the shape of a pear um, as my little souvenir from that trip. Um, and I still use it today. I love it. It's super cute. So um, yeah, so there you go. So those are the new Liberty of London notions that have arrived in the shop recently. Um, yesterday, I posted about all the new needle minders uh, that are now in the shop. And while I was uh, working on that post, I, out of curiosity, went and counted how many needle minders I have available in the shop. And turns out I've got 61 um, different needle minders in the shop now. So that's, if you like needle minders, you've got a nice big selection there. So a needle minder, if you're not familiar with what it is, it is this little doodad that you uh, put on your embroidery hoop. People use them in quilting as well, so you can put them um, on your quilt. And what it is, is you've got a front piece and a magnet, a backing magnet. You put the backing magnet on the back of your hoop, um, the front piece on the front, and that gives you a place to rest your needle when you're not using it so that you hopefully lose less needles, um, your thread doesn't come undone from your needle, and then you don't have to poke extra holes in your fabric to keep your needle in place. For year, a couple years now, um, I've had a Snuggly Monkey Needle Minder that um, had a little, the spool from my logo um, with cute little eyes on it. And that um, has been a reward in the Snuggly Monkey Makers Perks Reward Program. So lots of folks have gotten that needle minder and um, they really like it. So I've been asked over and over, would I make more designs like that? I finally got around to it. So that's what I posted yesterday is 12 or 13 um, new designs in this same button style. Little um, known fact that before I switched full time to Snuggly Monkey as a craft supply store, Snuggly Monkey has had a very long, long life. I started out um, making baby slings and Waldorf style dolls. Um, and then over the years transitioned to a variety of other things. And right before, um, or towards the beginning of Snuggly Monkey being a craft supply store, I actually also had a handmade Etsy shop where I sold badge reels, um, where you keep your work badge. Um, and I did that for a really long time, for many, many years. So the same presses that I used for making all of those badge reels, I still have it and it works really well for making <laughs> these needle minders. So I've started making those again. I use super strong rare earth magnets um, in the ones that I make. So these are, if you like a really strong hefty needle minder, these work really, really well. They are an inch and a half wide. Um, so it gives you a nice surface. And what I really like about these is it holds your needle really well, but because of the wider surface and the strong magnet, it's also strong enough to hold a small pair of scissors. Um, so it kind of just makes it a really nice, convenient, works really well. Those are the Bowen soft touch. That's the Kohana mini snips. Those stay on there really well. Um, so you've got a couple different options there. Some of the new designs that I put up yesterday, we've got another little happy embroidery uh, bobbin. There's this little mint elephant. There is a panda in some flowers, cute little hippo. Um, and then there's also, if you like the wooden uh, needle minders, I also have three new designs there. 
Um, this one, if you like the floral bird, which is really the tiniest, well, it was the tiniest one that I had before. So some people just like a really tiny little magnet there. Um, this one is quite small. It's called Kawaii Cloud, uh, and it's about half an inch wide. So it holds your needle, uh, but that's, that's about it because it's pretty small. There's also this really cute little fox holding a love letter. Um, and then there is this nice, big, happy hippo. Um, this one's a bit larger. Uh, he's about an inch and a quarter tall, I think. So lots of new needle minder options. If you are a needle minder uh, collector, as I am, um, I've got that, like I said, so there's the button style, the wooden style. I have several enamel needle minders. Um, this one's from Cozy Blue and it's her bee. This is from Allison Glass and it's her rainbow daisy. Some people have commented that um, the enamel ones don't have a strong, uh, they still hold your needle just fine, but these won't hold a pair of scissors. The, um, the magnet on them is just, I don't know if it's the enamel it, um, piece is too thick, uh, but these work, they're beautiful. Um, you just can't put scissors on these. They, they're not that strong. Um, and some people don't like the, the super strong button uh, style. Some people say it's, it's too hard, it's too strong, makes them nervous. Um, so the enamel ones might be a good choice for you then. I love all of it. I'm so glad you love all of it. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Um, so the next thing I want to share with you, I talk a lot about the embroidery um, and stitching side of the shop, but there's also a growing stationary supply side of the shop that I don't feature all that often. Um, washi tape, I love, love, love washi tape. Um, if you walk into the studio, it's the first thing you see right there when you walk in. Lots of folks ask me, oh, is that ribbon? Not ribbon, lots and lots of washi tape. So this is a washi tape tower. Um, these come from some little things. They are made uh, here in the US and how insanely adorable are these? So these are to store your washi tape. You can put them on your desk um, and they're just freaking adorable. I'm not sure if you recently cut your hair, but it looks lovely. I did recently cut my hair, thank you. <laughs> I cut it last week. It's my summer haircut getting ready for the heat and humidity of North Carolina summer. Um, so the washi towers, I'll explain a little bit more about how they work in a second, but there's I think five different designs. This is the library um, stack. Then there is this one that's called Postal Mates and it's a little post office and your tower is this little bunny that's dressed up like a postman. There is the ramen shop. There is um, the classroom setup. This is the traveling one. So you've got the Eiffel Tower, the Golden Gate Bridge and a little bunny um, getting ready to travel. And then there is the garden uh, style, which has the little Norwell whale and the little chick in the pot. Um, if you head to the website, type in Washi Tower, you'll see pictures of all of these actually set up. Um, so I know that flat packed, they're a little harder to imagine, but you'll see what they all look like. So my daughter's going to a wild about this tower. I'm pretty wild about this tower. <laughs> I love this. I've had this sitting on my desk for quite a while now. Um, if you've come in for one of the open studios, these have been around. I just hadn't gotten around to getting them onto the website. Um, so this is what it is. It is a, they come flat packed like you just saw and it's, they're made of acrylic. And so you get these three little pieces. This is your base. Um, and if you get one of these, Remember that all of these have a protective film on them, so make sure and peel the film off um, as you're setting it up uh, so that you get kind of the nice, pretty, shiny finish because the film kind of dulls it a little bit. So you just insert the acrylic pieces into the base to build your tower. You can decide where you want what where. Um, so I'm gonna put my little chicken over here and then this piece is the tower where your washi tape goes. So um, you stick all those in and there you have your stand. It measures um, just under six inches. So it's about five and a half inches wide. It's about three inches um, this way and it is about four inches tall. So it's, it's a really nice cute size to fit on your desk. Uh, the different 
sizes hold different amounts of washi tape on them. So this one can hold up to five rolls of the 15 millimeter size tape. The other thing to remember is that this measures an inch and a half. So the interior wooden core diameter of your, I mean paper core diameter of your tape needs to be at least an inch and a half wide. So it doesn't work with all washi tapes. It works really, really well with the Some Little Things washi tapes. Those slide on there really easily. The Girl of All Works washi tapes work just fine as well. This is another Some Little Things. The MT, the Japanese MT washi tape, it fits, but it is, you'll see it doesn't like plop down right away. It's a tiny bit snug. It's not distorting the roll of washi tape in any way, but you do have to give it a little bit of a nudge to get on there. So all the washi tapes um, that I sell pretty much fit on this tower. So, um, so there you go. So these are the, the washi towers. If you need some tape to go with it, there's also some new tapes from Girl of All Works that came in recently. Their summer line, we've got the insect. Um, these are bicycles on blue. This is from MT, the um, Japanese company, and these are really beautiful, subtle um, pink cherry blossoms. This is from Girl of All Works, and it's called Flower Garland. And then these are the Girl of All Works two packs. So you actually get two tapes in here. You get a 15 millimeter and a five millimeter roll. So you get, this is a separate, the orange here is a separate tape. Um, so you get the jungle animals with the coordinating thin tape, and this is the, whoop, the garden with um, flowers and then a little floral tape underneath. So there is a lot more um, washi tape coming from a variety of places. Um, from the Netherlands, there's some stuff coming um, from here in the States, there's some stuff coming from Japan. So um, if you are a washi tape fan, keep an eye on the washi tape section because I've gone on a bit of a washi tape buying bonanza recently. All right, so the last thing um, that I have to show you here today, if you have been around um, since last year when um, I got this uh, studio space and we were redoing the studio, you may have seen me talk about the um, MT Casa Fleece. Um, and again, this has been here for quite a while and I just hadn't gotten around to getting it up on the site, but I finally did. So you will now find the MT Casa Fleece up in the shop. Um, and what this is, is it's made by MT uh, Tapes of Japan. And if you don't know, they are the original creators of washi tape. Um, they made the very first, the very first uh, washi tapes out there, and they're still one of the, the leading kind of washi tape makers. So they have this line of MT Casa, um, and what this is, they created this specifically for interiors. So it is, um, it doesn't, it has the same properties as washi tape where it's very easy to remove, reposition, it holds onto its stick, um, but it won't damage the surfaces that you put it on. So it's really fun to decorate with it, to um, use it around your house, cover chairs, tables. In the listings for all of these in the shop, there is a video that shows you how to use this exactly, and it shows somebody covering a tabletop um, using this stuff, so if you wanna kind of take a look at how, but it is super duper duper easy to use. I'm gonna show you the different prints that I have, and then we're gonna take a little field trip to show you where I have used this here in the studio and how easy it is to use. So there is this fun green tile, um, which you will see momentarily in action. There are these soft little blue floral uh, bird print. There is a pressed flower print. There's a blue and white floral print. And then there's this orange tile print. So um, this is what it looks like. I've used this green um, hexi print in lots of places around here. It's very, very easy to use. The only thing, it doesn't tear by hand as easily as washi tape does. So you do need a scissor um, or an X-Acto knife to use it, but it cuts very, very easily. And you can really stick this onto just about anything um, and it comes, it lifts up very easily. 
doesn't leave any glue residue, doesn't leave um, any damage. This, uh, these are some toilet paper rolls um, that we were playing around and we covered them up in there. So it's, you can use it all over the place. So let me take you off the stand here and let's go on a little field trip and uh, take a look at where I have used this around here. So first we're gonna head over here. Um, a lot of the fixtures that I have in the shop are second hand. And I got this fixture from the thrift store that's next door, actually, Pennies for Change. And the base of it was not in the greatest shape. So we cleaned it all down. Um, and then we used that empty Casa fleece to cover the base. Um, and it gave it a really cute uh, little look to it over there. Similarly, another uh, rack that I found at a different thrift store here in town. Um, this one needed some major cleaning, so we stripped it all down, cleaned it out, we painted it. Um, it used to be red, I think. And then again, the, the top and the bottom were in a little bit of rough shape, so we used that same empty uh, fleece to cover that up. And then um, the other place that I have used that tape so this space used to be originally a dentist um, and then it was an office supply, I mean a medical supply store. So back here, these used to all be offices um, and the doors are kind of standard office doors, nothing very exciting or pretty. This is the my storage room, but it's here kind of on the main hallway and I didn't love the look of that door, so I covered the whole door um, in that empty Casa fleece. Um, the good thing is that since I'm leasing this space, obviously, um, it comes off really easily. So whenever I am ready to go, or if I decide that I'm tired of these pressed flowers, it will just peel right off. It's not going to damage the wood underneath, um, and then I can either redecorate it or um, give it back to the owners in the condition that it was in. So there you go. Um, like I said, I love this stuff. I've used it um, both here um, and at home in various places. I, it's really, really easy to use, a really easy alternative to wallpaper if you're renting. Um, I actually have been meaning to for ages use some of this to kind of spruce up the bathroom um, in here and because the walls are just all white and just add a little bit of color in there. So so there you go. So um, so this is now in the shop. Um, you'll see it in there. And like I said, there's uh, links to some videos on how to use it. Um, and it's, it's, it's super duper easy to use and line up and all that good stuff. So so there you go. So that is uh, what is new. Um, I'll be back again next week with another unboxing. Um, I have placed a whole bunch of orders this week, so I'm expecting to have several boxes to open um, next week. So hopefully I will see you there. The uh, next open studio is going to be on Saturday, May 21st. And uh, we've got a special guest coming this time. Jesse Mathers from Evolution Physical Therapy is going to be here. She's offering uh, free 15 minute consultations. There's going to be a, a link to sign up for one of the consultation spots. Um, it'll be both in my link tree on Instagram um, and it'll be going out in the newsletter this afternoon. And there will also be a link to where you can sign up on the website. So if you are in the area and are planning on coming to the open studio, please take advantage of meeting up with Jesse if you have had you know, a twinge, a pain um, that you've been meaning to have looked at, but you know, I haven't really gone. Jessie is amazing. Um, I've known and worked with her for about 10 years now, and she has kept me mobile for the longest time. So Jessie's fantastic. She also just got certified a couple years ago um, in mindfulness and meditation. Um, so she's just kind of an incredible font of knowledge. Um, take advantage of her being here if you're gonna be stopping by. Um, your videos are a bright spot. Thanks, Claudia. Thank you so much. That is super sweet. Uh, I'm. This is a joy. I enjoy doing this every week. So thank you so much for watching. All right, folks. Have a wonderful week. Um, I will see you all again soon. And take care. Bye.